These corrupt judges and prosecutors who are setting the, gangs, the gang members free. Just like it happens here in the United States. You are not there yet. And believe me, you don't want to be. We did the unthinkable to cleanse our society. We arrested the terrorists, we, but we have to remove corrupt judges and corrupt attorneys and prosecutors. These corrupt judges and prosecutors who are setting the gangs, the gang members free. <laughs> and it wasn't just the gangs. The corrupt system, working tandem with the so-called international community, the NGOs, and of course the fake news, just like it happens here in the United States. <laughs> Unelected bureaucrats are trying to instate public policy. Who elected them? They don't have a democratic mandate. If they want a seat in the table, they should run for office. Let the people vote. It will not be a pretty sight for them if the elections are free and fair. I mean, who elected Soros? to dictate public policy and laws. Why, why does he feel entitled to impose his agenda? Let me tell you something. Soros and his cronies hit a brick wall in El Salvador. Thank God, thank God, another glory be to him. Salvadorans are now immune to his influence. No one believes his lies anymore over there. We just had, we just had free and fair elections. And we won in a landslide with more than 84% of the vote. Let that sink in. More than 84% of the people voted to continue our policies. Our victory is unprecedented in the history and modern democracies in the world. They also gave us a supermajority in Congress. More than that, 54 seats out of 60. <laughs> 57 if we count our allies. That's 95% that's of Congress. Let that also sink in. The people of El Salvador have woken up, and so can you. The global elites, they hate our success, and they fear yours. The people's free will to choose their leaders is something they despise because they cannot control that. You have experienced this firsthand here in the United States. The global elites control the mainstream media, they finance campaigns, district attorneys to mention a few. They abuse their powers, they persecute political opponents. You know, Salvador, we don't weaponize our judicial system to persecute our polit political opponents. A practice that may sound familiar to you. If they want a seat in the table, they should run. For it will not be a pretty sight for them. Just like it happens here in the United States with the so-called international community, the NGOs, and of course the fake news. <laughs> and it wasn't just the gangs. The corrupt system, 
work in tandem. I mean, who elected Soros to dictate public policy? Alone? You are not there yet. And believe me, well, to cleanse our society, we arrested the terrorists, we, but we have to... <laughs> These corrupt judges and prosecutors who are setting the, gangs, the gang members free. Policy. Who elected them? They don't have a democratic mandate if the elections are free and fair. You don't want to be. We didn't think about